Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm gonna make this intro super quick because I decided to move downtown LA and it's so loud outside and I haven't set up my, mouth, my mic yet. So hopefully I sound cool. But today's video is going to be on just the makeup look on this eye look right here. I used the Life's of Drag palette by Manny and UA. I bought the palette with my own money after see Downtown. Oh my god. <laughs> I bought the palette after seeing different reviews and different people posting their looks. I thought like, okay, this looks really legit, it looks really good. I created this look with it. Um, I'm trying to like wink or whatnot. I think the look I did is pretty cool. I mean, it fits my standards, you know, what I'm comfortable with. I want to do something more dramatic. However, I just, I haven't done my eyeshadow in so long. It just wasn't working out. I almost didn't post this video because so many different things were going wrong. However. I just really want to post content for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, leave positive comments, give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Alright, so first I'm going to take my Lemonade Eyeshadow Primer by Benefit, and I'm going to use that to prime my lids. Just apply that with a fluffy brush, then I'm going to blend the rest out with my finger. And then I'm going to take my Life's a Drag palette, and this is what it is. The brush fell out, that's why I made that face. It's so pretty. Um, you can see I already touched the purple and pink for my other eye. So I'm gonna take this pink shade right here and I'm gonna take it on this like fluffy but tapered brush and apply that pretty much all over my lid. So I just applied the color until it was as dark as I wanted it to be. And I'm gonna pause on my eyeshadow and do my brows really fast because this is how I did my other eye. I don't know why I did this. It just, it made the most sense. I know it's kinda untraditional, but it's what works for me. So I'm just gonna quickly fill my brow. It's not gonna be perfect or whatever. I'm just using my brow as a guideline to make sure that the eyeshadow doesn't go too far up, if that makes any sense. And after I fill them in, I'm gonna take this MAC concealer with this angled brush and clean them underneath. And then I'm gonna take a smaller, fluffy like brush from When Wild. And I'm gonna use that to kind of blend out the concealer and also kind of bring it down to clean up some of my eyeshadow. I hope I'm making sense. Um, it's kind of like if you watch it, it makes more sense than me saying it. Um, it just, this is how I like to do things sometimes. Then I'm gonna take another clean, fluffy brush from Morphe, I forget the name, and just clean that up. And then I'm gonna take this purple shade right here, and I'm gonna use a smaller, tapered brush by Morphe. And I'm gonna work that in my outer crease area and kind of bring it inwards. And then I'm gonna take this small, like, I don't even know what to call it. It's a real techniques brush. And I'm gonna use some of my primer, um, the Lemonade Primer, and I'm gonna kinda like carve out just a little empty space so I could place these two light colors right here. I mixed them to kinda create more of a champagne color because the lightest color was a little too light for me. Not like in general, but for this look. And then the gold color was too gold for what I was going for. So I mixed both of them to kinda create this champagne-like color. And I just applied that to my lid and blended it out to make sure it looked smooth. The only, this is kind of where I messed up because I guess I forgot I have hooded lids so I didn't apply anything to make it stick to my lid so I ended up transferring to the top part of my eyeshadow which kind of sucked. I mean the look still looked nice. It just it would look cleaner if I would have put some mixing medium on my lid to make sure it didn't transfer but hey can't go back now. So now time for the face. I'm going to take this Make It Forever smoothing primer. Um, yeah, I got a new lens, so I'm kind of just doing extra stuff. I don't know. It just looks really cool. And I'm trying to practice looking into my lens. I actually liked how this looked, but, um, based on my monitor, I can't look at my monitor and my lens at the same time. And I thought me looking straight into my lens made me look cross-eyed, but now that I know that it doesn't, I'll do it much more because I feel like it's more personal. But anyways, for foundation, I'm taking this NARS Natural Rating Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe, and I'm going to blend that out with this Sonia Kush... Kush... Ah, Sonia K uh, blender. I got it from Target. I should have wet it, though. I did not wet it, but I was just too lazy. But it's a really nice blender. It blends the foundation very evenly around your face and very fast because it's super big.
So to conceal, I'm taking one of my favorite concealers at the moment and probably of all time. And it's the Urban Decay All Nighted Concealer. I have like two of these. I need to buy another one because I feel like I'm running out of one of them and I just can't tell which one it is. But ooh, look at me looking into the camera. So personal, right? I love it. I don't know why I don't do that more often. Well, I do know why, but I'm gonna start doing it more often. Tell me if you guys like that. I've gotten comments um, on that before saying I don't look into the camera. It just, I film by myself. I don't have any help. And so I have to look at the monitor often just to make sure I'm in focus. Um, so that's the reason why I, you know, look at the monitor aside from trying to avoid from looking cross-eyed. But um, yeah, I really like uh, looking to lens a lot. Now that I'm editing this video, I think it looks really just cool. I can't explain it, but I like it. If you guys like it too, let me know. But anyways, I'm just blending this concealer out with another Sonia Kushik blender. It's really cool. And now I am going to, I guess, finish blending. And then I'm gonna set the places I concealed. If I can hurry up. Oh my gosh, I should have sped this part up. Oh Lord, okay, great, you look good. Next step. I'm gonna take my Laura Murmur powder <laughs> and set the places I concealed with that. And then um, I'm gonna put an extra layer to catch any fallout from the shadow I'm gonna apply to my lower lash line. All right, so now I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called Kiki. Um, <laughs> Kiki, sorry. Um, and this is the only issue I have with the palette. I feel like the shade wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. However, that's an easy fix. So first I try to mix that pink shade into it. it, wasn't smart. Then I mix this blue shade into it. And that's how I got the color to pop. Me mixing Kiki with this blue shade, it made it pop more I don't know how it just did and so that's what I did I mixed those two together now I'm gonna set my entire face using this Laura Mercier powder um, it's the it's like a translucent powder it's a deep one and man this part I don't know what the heck but like I just what am I saying I ruined myself so I took this small brush to try to brush and blend out the powder underneath my eye. And as you can see, it put highlight underneath there because I've used that brush to highlight before. So basically I spent 10 minutes trying to fix myself. Um, I had to turn off the camera because I don't want to waste my battery. But um, I, just, I just spent a long time trying to fix myself because I was like, why did this happen? Then I moved on to bronzer. Now this is my first time using this bronzer by Too Faced. I bought it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those. I didn't like too much. It was a little too cool toned. I was like, oh, like, ew. It just, it, I don't know what the heck was going on. It was just too gray. I wasn't feeling, it smelled so good. It was making me hungry. But I didn't like how it looked on me. Then I took this Stila blush that I also got from TJ Maxx. And I didn't know this was a cream. It's a cream. It's nice. However, I felt like the color looked good, but the finish did not look good for this look. Uh, this is a nice blush for maybe like an everyday makeup look where you want to look really dewy. But uh, for what I was doing, I, I, yeah, it uh, it wasn't gonna work. So then I got my Sigma Corda Rosa blush, which I always use whenever I'm in shambles because it's just like a perfect go-to blush. It's perfect. It's not too pink and it's not too orange. And I placed it on top to tone that sheen down and to get the color right. And that pretty much worked out. I think one thing you should take away from my tutorials is even when you're, you're kind of messing up, don't stop, just keep going and just try to fix it because nine times out of 10, it'll work out. So for highlight, I'm taking this highlight by ColourPop. It's called Spoon. And I'm taking the highlight brush that destroyed me earlier. And I'm just gonna, you know, apply the highlight where I always apply the highlight on my cheekbones and my nose and all that good stuff. After applying highlight, I take my powder brush and I go over my whole face to kind of just fuse everything together. I know I'm moving a little slow, but I'm about to do it right now. 
And then off camera, I almost applied it on camera. Then I realized I'm not really supporting her brand anymore. I applied liner and then I put on some lashes. These ones are by Velour. It's their effortless style. I placed those on off camera. And also my monitor died on me. I was kind of annoyed. And then I use this MAC mascara. I don't know the name off top, so it'll be down below. And I use that for my bottom lashes. So I lined my lips using this brown lip liner by Italia Deluxe. It's very cheap. I want to say it was $2. I just don't know where they sell them. I know you can find them online, but as far as like walking into the store and buying them, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah. Then I took this Fenty Beauty Gl uh, Galaxy Gloss. I think this is spacesuit, but I'm also not sure. So I applied that gloss first you know on my lips and whatnot it's really pretty it's one of my faves i wish i would bought two when these were out then i took this clarins lip oil and i believe this is shade raspberry and i placed it on top to give my lips more moisture and to also make my lips look even more glossy than they already look because you guys know i go ham with the gloss and it's just my thing then to set my face i am taking this omg Cause is it OMG Glow Cosmetics setting spray has a nice shimmer to it, and so I sprayed my face with that, let it dry, and this is the finished look. I'm so dramatic. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and um, yeah, leave nice comments down below. I'll see you guys later.